just love it. I'm a big fan of Super Mario Odyssey as well. Yeah, really same. fun no, it's, game. It's a really fun game, honestly. Yeah. Hopefully, there's more DLC for that game. Maybe like a new patch. It just came out with like new costumes and stuff. I'm more focusing like I mean the thing is I want a new story mode on the thing because they they, they can keep updating that game as long as it goes. Delfino Island. Anyways, Odyssey versus uh, fighting off against Zane's Bayonetta. Again, uh, we just saw Bayo. We're gonna see her again. Let's see if Adi can try to like make quick work of this, or if Zane's gonna bring it back and get this little upset. Yeah, man, a notoriously bad matchup for Fox right here. Let's just see if he can make the most out of it, like last set. You know, we saw ZSS winning the Bayo set. Go. Peace. Yeah, throwing out them back airs. It looks like Odyssey is just taking a commanding lead in this set, like not letting Zane get his basic combos right here. Oh. Back air, good. Up, oh, so catching this tech chase. Oh, we try to go for the light. Back, oh, okay. Going for the fair, just get the damage. The rising forward air, man. Get them kicks in. Good, good. back air, I like that. Back air, really good option for Fox on the ledge. Just catches a lot of options. And I he guess Zane just kind of messed up his uh, recovery there. He just probably didn't have a jump. Yep. Just took it. All right, but he, he's still coming back strong. Oh, he just, he missed ledge. And he got untackables. That is unfortunate because it's like if you hit an input, there's like a certain window where you cannot re grab that ledge. Yeah. And that happened to Odyssey, and that's why he put himself in that scenario. He just, yeah, he had to like get rid of stuff out there, probably get back on stage. So a lot of the time we're going to be seeing from Odyssey, like up tilts are going to be one of his like main sources of like combo starters mm -hmm. here, but he doesn't want to get too, like he doesn't want to like follow up combos unless he knows it's going to be true because there's always that potential chance of like which time, time coming out. So He doesn't want to familiarize himself with Zane just like giving him the percent. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's doing a fantastic job just tagging on the damage. Up tilts again, really good option on just catching ledge getups. Yeah, see Odyssey's just overwhelming him right now. That just shield looking shield. super oh, low. You saw that witch time, the that desperate witch time. Mm -hmm. Just to get out of the situation, like, ah, oh, please help me. Panic options right here, left and right. Odyssey did a phenomenal job of just applying pressure to Zane. Mm -hmm. You exactly. saw it. it started with that up till and oh, sorry, started with the back air. He started. He jumped with the back air just in case he didn't go for a ledge jump. Because he went for a ledge n normal getup, it allowed him to let's throw out a second back air to apply shield pressure. And then because he was positive on it, he was able to follow up with a lot of jabs. The shield was looking mighty small, so he could potentially go for an up smash, catch him below the shield. But instead, he played patient, waited for the panic witch time, then punished the witch time afterwards. Which is kind of funny because like Odyssey's like an extremely aggressive player, so uh, I thought he would just go in and in and in and in and in and yeah. in. But he kind of gave some slap. You play, playing. You can play aggressive, but still be smart about it. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Which, which is kind of what I like um, about Odyssey's play. It's just that even though he's so aggressive and plays like extremely like lights fox, but he always like, kind of makes it up like, oh, I'll be patient. So we're going to go into game number two. Odyssey jumping to Cloud yet again. It seems to be the trend that we see from uh, Odyssey. I think it's just like if he's comfortable like playing as his opponent, he'll definitely push the, um, the Cloud. It's also an opportunity for him to try to practice the matchup as well. You oh, know, yeah, maybe like, for some options. I mean, um, mm -hmm. So Max up that he doesn't feel like it's comfortable for him. Or he's maybe, he's maybe mixing some people up, maybe just for opponent's sake. Maybe just some practice. You never know. It looks like it's, it's a pretty good pick himself. Like. Can we talk about that forwarder for a second? Yeah, like, it almost hit, <laughs> honestly. I like, that was spooky. If that hit, that was going to spike and that was going to kill. <laughs> Gotta watch out for it. Oh, good, good beetle movement. <laughs> Eyes on that crouch. Yeah, Adi's moving with this cloud. Oh, my. He's limit just allowing him to move like foxes. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like, you get that limit break charge, it increases your movement speed. A little bit <laughs> fast fall. He actually had too much movement right there. Yeah. He had to actually expend it to get back to the stage. Unfortunate waste. Uh, I just feel like, yeah, I mean, he, he just wants to move around the stage, and wasting that limit just did something really bad for him. Good trade coming in from Odyssey. Zane has to, like, yeah, he doesn't have a jump. It's been happening a lot to Zane, mm -hmm. this set. Yo, what are you saying? It's like a thousand something, <laughs> I don't know. He got 102 percent going from, <laughs> going from Odyssey. This could be a potential for Zane to try to get, like, a witch twist or a heel slide. Yeah, but it's just that Odyssey is just so good at baiting out what Zane really wants to do. Oh, hey, climb hazard just to be able to cover his landing. Backer might take it. Yeah, no, not, not good DI. All right. The platform actually went in his sight too, so if he would have lived that, he could have had like a mix up to get back to the stage too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Double Witch Twist was expecting the second one to connect. Punishes. Oh, Bat Within coming oh, out. Oh, okay. He tried to like 
get the next um, hit of the cross slash, but... I mean, one of his sure. faster options out of a dash, you know, besides, like, dash attack. Yeah. Cross is pretty nice. Try to go for the fair again. Try to follow up with that double jump. You saw him going for it. Body just keeps mixing up the recoveries again. Oh. Which twist? Limit coming onto deck. Allows him to try to get back down to the ground faster. Just immediate Holy. cross slash. Oh my, the down smash barely misses the witch time. In Audi's favor, thank gosh. Yeah. <laughs> he got, he's getting lucky here. Or until a good option for covering that neutral get up. Back here was trying to follow the ledge jump. Just getting off stage, the F throw. Good back air. That's the combo back Ross combo back air. My gosh. I've seen combo over that so many times. Just took a page out of his book. Ledge. Uh, let go of ledge into double jump back air. That's the most ballsy option ever. And honestly, glad we it's it. super unsafe. But if you catch him holding shield, like, it's like hot. I got it. And it also applies a lot of shield pressure too. So even if they doesn't like catch them, it gives you enough space to give some breathing room that you just turn the tables on them, and now you have them against the corner. You can reset neutral. You can just like punish his shield. Definitely a lot of options that you come from if you get it. If the opponent doesn't react. If the opponent just like hits an attack button though, you you could be in a very bad spot, especially if you don't have limit, because cloud off stage yeah, with no limit. jump. It, it's ballsy, like yeah. you said. Like if you get hit, and knocked off, like the cloud's dead. It was there though. As we see, going to game three, Zayn has to mix up a lot of how Odyssey is just punishing his attacks. Like he definitely has to see that Odyssey is just getting in, and he has to mix up how the, the way he approaches. See, Odyssey is catching everything, like going in good, but gets him out of the combo. There again, catching him, falling back down to the stage. <laughs> he wanted to end it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if that was actually gonna spike, but it definitely would have attacked some damage on. It would have, it would have definitely like got him off stage again. And knowing Zane's uh, luck off stage, he might have escaped. <laughs> that was great spacing from Audi, by the way. Just oh my god! That was. Uh, he missed it. Went for the the double cross slash and down smasher. Limit cross right. slash has like barely any cooldown. It is punishable, but it's pretty hard. Yeah. Oh. Just re just playing. Okay, honestly, just toying, toying. With I'm trying to bait out reactions. I love Played to up mad the patient. Wait, he punished the jump lead off the ledge, but just waiting for him to land. Ash is just playing so well around Bayo, grabbing and that throwing, and he's just all Zane, over Zane's head. Yeah, Zane's struggling just to get something going whatsoever against Audi. Only taking off 59 damage. He is one stock away from being sent to losers. Okay, this oh. could be something, mm -hmm. but Audi falls out of it. Limit Break might have been able to help him with the uh, increased fastball speed. It's just that Odyssey has amazing SDI. He just gets away with it. Punish? I, I thought I thought he was going to go for Opera Fusion Touch. <laughs> that, that would not have killed at 39. Um, With the Rage, I was... I mean, he might, he might need 10 more percent. But yeah. Oh, my! True combos. Connected true the combos. reverse aerial neutral air. Into a cross really slash, good. looking slick out here. Audi Nutty. just cleaning that up. He he didn't even crack a smile. He he was like, yeah. He's I, like, that I'm, was I'm normal, good. Doug. <laughs> Bam. Damn. Kazam. Kablam. Kablamo. Kablam. Three O. Audi's favorite. <laughs> and we're gonna move on to winners semis. Winner's semis.